Hi guys, welcome to Engineered Math Channel. In this video, I will teach you how to find the inverse of functions. So if you want to learn more about this, just keep on watching. Okay, so we will find the inverse of the following functions. So for number 1, we are given f of x is equal to 2x plus 5. So the first step is we let f of x be equal to y first. So we can have f of x or y equal to 2x plus 5. Next step is we need to interchange the position of the variable y and x. So we will have x is equal to 2y plus 5. And then... We need to solve for this new equation for y explicitly in terms of x. So we can do that by manipulating the equation algebraically. So I can isolate the y here on the right side by transposing this positive 5 to the left or I can subtract 5 to both sides of the equation. So I will have x minus 5 equal to 2y then canceling out 5. That's equal to 0. Then, I can solve for y by dividing both sides by its coefficient of 2. So, canceling out 2, I have y equal to x minus 5 over 2. Now that we have solved for y explicitly in terms of x, so we have x minus 5 over 2 is equal to y. Or we can have that y is equal to x minus 5 over 2. We can transform y in terms of the inverse function notation. So that can be f raised to negative 1 of x equal to x minus 5 over 2. Take note, this is just a notation for the inverse of f of x. f raised to negative 1 of x does not necessarily mean that it's equal to 1 over f of x. Okay, So therefore, the inverse of the function is simply x minus 5 over 2. For the second problem, we have f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus 5. Again, we let f of x be equal to y first. So we will have y is equal to 2x cubed plus 5. Then we interchange the position of the variables y and x. So we will have x is equal to 2y cubed plus 5. Then we solve this equation for y explicitly in terms of x. So I can uh, subtract 5 to both sides of the equation. So I can have x minus 5 on the left side equal to 2y cubed. Canceling out 5, that's 0. So I can eliminate first the coefficient of y cubed, which is 2, by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. So canceling out 2, we will have y cubed equal to x minus 5 over 2. And then to eliminate the third power of y, I can raise both sides of the equation to one third, or that's just the same as getting the cube root of both sides of the equation. So I will have y raised to the third raised to one third. So canceling out the exponents, we will have y equal to x minus 5 over 2 raised to one third. Or that's the same as y equal to the cube root of x minus 5 over 2. And then I can transform this y in terms of the inverse function notation again, which is f raised to negative 1 of x equal to the cube root of x minus 5 over 2. So therefore, this is the final answer. For the third problem, we have f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 1 minus 25. Again, we let f of x be equal to y. So we have y is equal to the square root of x plus 1 minus 25. Then interchange the variables x and y. So we will have x is equal to the square root of y plus 1 minus 25. Then we manipulate the equation and solve for y explicitly in terms of x. So I can add 25 to both sets of the equation first. So I can have x plus 25 on the left side. Then uh, negative 25 plus 25, that's 0. So cancel, equal to square root of y plus 1. And then I can raise both sides of the equation to the second power so that we can get rid the square root on the right side. So square root of y plus 1 squared. 
So that's just equal to y plus 1 equal to x plus 25 quantity squared. And then finally, to solve for y, I can just subtract 1 to both sides of the equation. So I will have x plus 25 quantity squared minus 1 equal to y. Canceling out 1 because 1 minus 1 is 0. So we can write this as y is equal to x plus 25 quantity squared minus 1. Transforming y as the inverse function notation, we have f raised to negative 1 of x equal to x plus 25 quantity squared minus 1. So this is the final answer. For number 4, we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 over 5x minus 2. So we let f of x be equal to y. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 5 over 5x minus 2. Interchange the position of the variables x and y. So we will have x is equal to 2y plus 5 over 5y minus 2. So we can solve this equation for y now in terms of x. So I can eliminate first the denominator 5y minus 2 by multiplying both sides of the equation by 5y minus 2. So on the right side, I can cancel out 5y minus 2. So I am left with 2y plus 5 on the right side. And then multiplying 5y minus 2 times x on the left, I can apply distributive property. So let's multiply first 5y times x. That's 5yx. And then negative 2 times x. That's negative 2x. So I can gather all the terms that has y variable on the left side and those that don't have on the right. So it means I can transpose this uh, 2y term to the left side as well as transpose this negative 2x to the right. So I can subtract 2y to both sides of the equation. So I can cancel out 2y on the right side, leaving just the term 5 on the right. So... On the left, I will now have 5yx minus 2x minus 2y. And then, I can eliminate the negative 2x on the left side by this time adding 2x to both sides of the equation. So, canceling out 2x on the left side, I will have 5yx minus 2y equal to 5 plus 2x. Then, I can factor out y on the left side. So, that will be y times the quantity, so divide 5 by x by y, that's equal to 5x. Then divide negative 2y by y, that's negative 2, equal to 5 plus 2x. Finally, I can divide both sides by 5x minus 2 so that I can solve for y. So canceling out 5x minus 2, I have y equal to this expression on the right. 5 plus 2x over 5x minus 2. And then finally, we just transform this y in terms of the inverse function notation. f raised to negative 1 of x equal to 5 plus 2x over 5x minus 2. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay, so that's it for this video, inverse of functions. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.